So I won't call you a bitch, but I'll call you a hoe. How are you watching this show? Did you watch all the men pay to say that? Do y'all realize that all I'm saying to you, I am like the person in the middle telling you what these men say. So you're not looking for me. I don't got a penis, okay? So it ain't about me, but I know that. Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. I'm not gonna be before you long. I just wanted to chime in on this um, Kendra G video. And I actually saw it weeks ago while I was at work and I got a good chuckle out of it as Kendra G went off on um, somebody in her comment sec section. But do you all think that Kendra G would ever give Kevin Samuels an apology? And some of you may or may not know that she was on his show and she gave him the business. He gave She gave him a hard time. And now she is on the other end of what he used to deal with with women. And... I'm going to share the, the video in the, I'm going to put it in the description box, but let me share the clip that I got first. I just saw a question and someone said, Kendra, why do you always have a problem when someone else wants to elevate? Honey, and a, and a woman probably said that. I almost called you the B word, but I'm working on my swearing child. So I won't call you a bitch, but I'll call you a hoe. How are you watching this show? Did you watch all the men pay to say that? Do y'all realize that all I'm saying to you, I am like the person in the middle telling you what these men say. So you're not looking for me. I don't got a penis, okay? So it ain't about me, but I know the data. And you saw for yourself men paying to say the things I knew that they were gonna say. So what y'all need to do is get out your goddamn feelings. Oh, excuse me, well, I didn't mean to use your name again. I take that back. Get out your feelings and stop trying to deflect on me when you are witnessing for yourself what the men are saying to you. No one is mad about anybody elevating. That's what life is about. But at the end of the day, I don't want to talk about sell, but when you're a woman and you say you want a provider, you essentially are saying you want somebody that got money to take you on. And this is how some of the men feel. And I don't know why you asking me why am I getting mad? Why don't you? All the men just said what they had to say, girl. Now, the commenter said to Kendra G, why do you have an issue with women wanting to level up? And I've seen that sentiment before on Kendra's show. And here's the thing. As Kendra said, she's not a man. She's only relaying what men are saying. And this is what I don't understand with a lot of women who claim to want men, a husband or whatever. Y'all are not interested in what men are saying. And it's very evident. A lot of you will go to women who don't have husbands, who don't even like men. And y'all will take what they are saying. No, men should want a woman that's got five kids by five different men. No, a man should want a 500 pound woman. No, a man should want, you, you get the drift. And men are saying, no, we don't want this. And so many women will still fight. No, that's, that is what you want. And then you guys get mad and triggered and upset. And you want to say that men are trash and whatever. But men and women are two different things. We are not the same. If a man is what you are seeking, then you go to the male spaces and you listen to what they, they are saying that they want in a woman. And that's why so many women hated Kevin Samuel so much because he broke it down and you guys didn't like to hear it. Now, as I said, Kendra is seeing firsthand how delusional and entitled women are. And, and it's it, honestly... It's kind of it's sad at this point that so many women, they, they want to be loved. They want a husband. And you have some of these women who go on these shows who had a husband. And then they think that they're going to get 10 times better than the husband that they had. And it doesn't always work like that. There should be a movement of sorts to helping young ladies stay in their marriage. But y'all want to be a part of the sisterhood, which encourages you to leave a man, a, a good man in a lot of cases, with your children. And then you expect another man to take that on. 
But that was my topic for today. I just got a kick out of Kendra going off on somebody. I loved it. That's not the only time she's ever done that. And um, But that was my topic for today. It's very brief, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.